This is a continued version of our court card course. So now we're talking about the knights. What do the knights have before actually being reversed? I mean, they were fiery. They did have ambition. They loved this sort of confrontation. They like all of that. So in reverse, we're reversing literally all of these problems you see across the entire gamut of the video is a lack of finishing things that you started. And I know a couple of astrology signs have this problem anyway, but the night being reversed really has a problem with that. So if you're looking at buying a house, maybe it won't get finished. If you're looking at starting a relationship, could have difficulty with that. If you're looking at finishing a big project at work, we could have some challenges facing us with that. And the other problem is lacking ambition. Again, you'll see this across here. Other than the cups, which is more of a more of a sort of a stealthy trickster type thing, most of these really lack ambition. It's hard to get them started on something. And of course, once they're started, it's hard to get them finished with it. So it's a big interrupter. The reverse night, think of it as an interruption. So if we're looking at getting a check from the government, they owe us some money, we have an interruption. Uh, basically, it's, it's a disruptor. Once it hits the table, it's it's big problem. Difficult, again, to complete tasks. They're a follower. They're no longer a big leader. They're no longer the warring, ambitious, charged ahead. And again, they lack in action. And again, looking at just the the universal delay. So if you do Lenormand, you'll look at the mountain. The mountain is, uh, you know, is, is it delayed? Stuff is, stuff's going to take time. It's going to take time. And people love Lenormand because it's so easy. It's so straightforward. And the, not of, the knights, once they hit the table, they are pretty straightforward reversed. Nine of Wands is going to be the big disruptor, the big delay. So if you look up top uh, left here, the Nine of Wands with the success. We have a delayed success. It's difficult to get the success going. It's difficult to get it cranked out and to get it working. You know, I mean, we got problems. So the Nine of Wands reversed next to a successful card, let's say buying a house, getting a relationship, having someone contact you. And a lot of people ask, is, is you know, Fred or whatever going to call me back? Are they going to contact me? Is my ex still interested? This is a big, uh, uh, this is a big rod into the spokes of the, of the bicycle here. So that success is delayed. If we look at bottom, we have a conflict or a, um, a fight, sort of some conflict, some problem that leads to the delay. So the night doesn't always cause the delay. If we look at the bottom left here, the night is not always the direct cause of the delay. Sometimes the card before it will tell us the conflict, the problems are causing that delay. If we look over to the right, we have a trip. We have a trip from bad to better, and that is being disrupted by the night again, sort of the the you know the stick into the spokes it's causing the problem and one of the other problems with the knot of wands especially is it, you're missing that passion so we could be missing the bedroom passion things could be kind of boring in the relationship things could be boring at work you could have just a really dull worker we could have hired somebody they don't really want to do anything you got to give them specific tasks they have no ambition you it's of knight of wands feel and again look for cards around it are there cards surrounding this that are causing the problem don't just blame the knight the knight brings things it brings the stall it brings the delay the knight of wands does that but what else is involved we need to read the cards around that now one of the other big factors of the knight of wands was constantly moving which now we don't have and the other thing was an extrovert and now it sort of brings us to introversion and that's going to be sort of a problem in various circumstances where people need to be extroverted people need to get going 
on stuff and be outgoing. Somebody wants a loving relationship. Somebody wants to be married. What are you doing to help that along? Are you just sitting at home watching TV? That's not helping get your marriage going. That's not helping you find a mate. So the introversion could be a stall, sometimes stall tactic to get things going. The Nine of Swords, we remember these. We remember these. He rushed in with no plan. It was the road runner and the Wile E. Coyote. You remember Wile E. Coyote, the Nine of Swords? He always had that master plan, never quite worked out. He's just a crappy planner. He just rushed in and hoped for the best. Now, the Nine of Swords reversed just really doesn't give a crap anymore. They just don't care. I don't care at all. Why am I even here? I don't care. So, man, that guy needs some moisturizer on his nails. Look at that. Hey, like the cuticle cream? What is that called? Where, like, your nails are just dry? I mean, I'm just saying. Anyway, off topic. Okay, so the Nine of Swords, reverse, just doesn't care anymore. Just like the Phil Collins song. Now, if we get some other cards that sort of rebound this or help this along, I mean, look at the Eight. The Eight of Cups, I don't care, so I'm leaving. The Nine of Swords followed by the Eight of Cups. I don't care, so I'm leaving. I just don't care anymore. So we're asking about our lover. Do they love us still? No, they don't care. They pretty much gave up. They're leaving the eight. Um, same thing with the six. They're leaving for better pastures. I mean, a six of swords is leaving for better pastures. If you look at my deck, you'll see that it goes from like this dark into this light. It's totally different from the left to the right. So... It's leaving for a better place. They're leaving for a better place because you just don't care anymore. I mean, you gave up. You gave up. The same with the Four of Cups, the Lord of Blended Pleasure down here. We just gave up. We haven't found anything that satisfies us. So we're out of here. We give up. Okay? We just don't care. Same thing with Overburdened on the right here with the 10. We're overburdened, so we don't care. I mean, look around. Again, these cards don't just sit on an island by themselves. Look around for other cards, find out maybe more information on the problem, get to the root of the problem. I don't care is not the root of the problem. Dig deeper, dig deeper. Now, speaking of dig deeper, that looks good. Man, I haven't had French fries in like three and a half, four years. I'm on a diet. I'm on a diet, boys. So, oh, the, that kind of looks kind of nasty though. What's with the grape? Is that a grape? Anyway, uh, you have fruit mixed with this. It's, it's kind of weird, that grape underneath the chip. But okay, anyway, um, the Nine of Swords reversed is about gluttony. It's six o'clock. You can see it's time to load up on that um, that ham panini with uh, whatever in God's name that cookie is on the left of that. Gluttony is a big thing here. So, I mean, it doesn't always relate to food either. Gluttony was surrounded by cheating cards. Maybe the Three of Cups, maybe the Seven of Swords. We could be looking at gluttony trying to pick up too many people, trying to get in too many love relationships, trying to do too much at one time, getting that gluttony on. But I mean, the Nine of Swords Reverse does talk about gluttony. Now, what can we look for to get more information on this? Again, it doesn't sit on an island. The Nine of Swords reverse with this Four of Pentacles. We're, we're gluttonous, but we're trying to hold on to everything we have. We're, we're hanging on to it. We're hanging on to it. Up here, we, we've encountered defeat. We're trying to recover from it. Maybe, you know, things like this. And then the big one, the big one, the Seven of Cups down here on the bottom right. That talks about gluttony because of choices. We're trying to do too many things. We're trying to get too deep into it. We have so many choices. We want it all. We want it all. And speaking of want it all, speaking of cheating, we got the, the, the devil himself right here, the Nine of Cups reversed. Now, the Nine of Cups right side up is Don Juan, the lover, the lover. Very passionate, very loving person. But the Nine of Cups reversed is, is the user is the one that you don't want. That's the user, the abuser, the the one that um, is going to be maybe cheating on you. The one is just going to be the the trickster, the trickster that you really don't want. And 
the heapy cheating clues here. What other cards could be next to this that could give us more info or give us some confirmation? The big one. I mean, the big one up top left here, the Three of Swords. That I mean, that is the big one. You, you saw that coming. You saw that coming. So No more explanation on that. The bottom left here, the Seven of Swords. Now, when you look at he be cheating, I mean, Seven of Swords is a big one. You're taking things away. We're walking out. We're leaving with the possessions or we're leaving with someone else's possessions. So that's sort of a cheating indicator. Same with the Nightmare Nine of Swords where things aren't going well. We have these issues. We have a bunch of things happening with that. Obviously, as well, the Four of Cups, the Lord of Blended Pleasure. Talking about we have what we have plenty. He's got plenty of cups, but he's being offered another one. He's like, no, I don't think so, man. Think I'm done. Think I'm definitely done. All right, and it's you know again, right side up. It's Don Juan DeMarco, Johnny Depp going on over there, and uh, it, you know, and then reversed. It's failed dreams. The things that you wanted, the things that you were excited about didn't do it. Lack of imagination is another big clue here, too. Ah, oh, we just don't care. Canceled invitations. Now, this is big. This is big. We're going on a trip. We have an invite. We're trying to get that trip going. And somebody canceled an invitation, and, and that's, that's not good. But pushing away as well. You could be in a relationship and be physically pushed away. People are pushing you away, and that's not good at all. But speaking of not good, I mean, all these reverse nights, there are redeeming factors here. There are redeeming factors. Not every reverse night is going to be the devil himself. But when we look at the Knight of Pentacles, we're talking about the stalled worker, the delayed worker, things that just aren't being where we need it. They're just not getting the activities. They'll wait for somebody else to do it. That's the key here, the Nine of Pentacles reverse. I'm just going to wait for somebody else to do it. Let them take care of it. I don't need the drama. I don't need all this stuff. I'm going to sit around. I'm going to sit around. The stalled worker. Now, this was worker of the year. This is that person you give a job to, and they get on it. They activate it. Everything's awesome. But, yeah, reversed, not so much. The Nine of Pentacles is going to be having problems. Now, the danger zone, the far right handle over here, the danger zone is the Nine of Cups anywhere near the knot of pentacles that's the stalled worker with the lover in other words the stalled lover things aren't going as well as you had hoped and they're not going to go as well as you had hoped especially the knot of cups reversed you have the the stalled delayed user abuser type thing one-sided relationships are going to be a key factor here when we get this when we're talking about relationships because you're talking about the knot of pentacles reversed the stalled worker next to this burdened 10 of wands that burden is not good at all that's going to be a problem they're stalled because of the burden the car that it's too much you loaded too much on the plate again not on an island they don't sit there on an island the knight of pentacles reversed next to something gives more meaning and here it's a stalled worker because of too much it's too much that 10 is a pain in the butt we go down here to the bottom left was stalled worker because of heartbreak a stalled worker because of needs rest i mean you need to really sort of look at this and see why the stalled worker is there but speaking of working i've been working I've been working good. We got a Patreon up there. If you like Patreon, come visit me. I have a ton of people on Patreon right now. Thank you so much for your support. I love you all. I love you all on my Patreon. Why are they there, you ask? Well, for five bucks, you get all the handouts from all these classes. You get the astrology class, the Lenormand class, the court card guy, tarot 101, numerology, medical. It, it goes on forever. It, plus my books. If I release a book, and I'm on my second book, could be on my third book by the time you watch this, who knows? You get it free every time, 100% free. Doesn't matter how much it costs on Amazon. Doesn't, have mutter, doesn't matter how exclusive it is, you get it free. Also get the Echoes of Nature Manual and the Fluffy Virgo Lenormand, all of my Lenormand cloths. Plus, you, I'll teach you how to draw. It doesn't matter if you don't know how to draw. You can draw all of this on the screen in like four hours. Post it on your local Facebook and say, hey, I do realistic pets. And people will bomb you and throw money at you. It's great. I mean, it's wonderful. Try, try it out and see. It, it's great. So, yeah. 
Um, come check me out on Patreon. I appreciate you watching. Please hit that like and subscribe button, and we will see you next time.